Hey everyone, we are here inside of After Effects and let's review what's going on inside the mystery demo file just here. So I've got the background layer just here, Spaceship 1, Spaceship 2 and Spaceship 3. Now these three ships are all on their own separate layers and I'm thinking I would like them to effectively move as one squadron, maybe move up off the top of the screen, scale down, bit of rotation and have them fade away as well. Now I don't want to have to animate each ship individually. Ideally, what I would like to do is have one thing that I animate and have the ships follow that thing. Now in this situation, that thing that I want is a null object. So up under layer new, let's add a null object. So that comes in just down here and you can see it just out here. It's this red square thing just here. Now, what I want to do is parent these three spaceships to the null object and then animate the null object. The null object, we can see it here guys, but this is something that will not render out. Visually, it's not really there. It's just something that you can animate and point other things to. So let's select spaceship three, hold down the shift key, select spaceship one. All three spaceships are now selected. So let's parent them to the null object. There's a parent and link section just over here. You can use drop downs to set this up. Or if you grab one of these pick whip icons just here and drag and drop that on null one, you can see it has automatically parented all of the spaceships to the null object. Okay, so let's open up null one just down here. There's the transform properties just there. So let's, for example, change the position. Fantastic, we are changing just the position of the null object but you can see all of the spaceships are changing as well. Let's try scale. Fantastic. Let's try rotation. Very cool. And come down to opacity. You should have some warning bells already going off. This thing is currently reading as 0%. Even if I drag this up, changing the opacity on the null is not changing the opacity on the objects parented to the null. This is a big gotcha that trips up a lot of people, myself initially included as well. So guys, uh, let's hit the reset button just there. Uh, let me set up a quick little animation here. And then in just a moment, I'll show you how we can actually get opacity on a null object to control the opacity of the objects parented to it. So let's uh, hit the little stopwatch icon next to position, scale, and rotation. Notice I've got my playhead at the zero mark just here. And let's come across to say about one and a half seconds. Let's uh, move these over a little bit like so. Maybe have them going up the top just here. Scale them down a little bit like so. Maybe play with the rotation there. Okay, so that's our basic animation so far, guys. Pretty crude, I know, but you get the idea. So the last thing we want to be able to do now is animate the opacity. Now, the way we're going to make this work is by applying an effect to the null object. And that effect that we're looking for is this guy just down here, slider control. Now here in the effects and presets panel, you are looking inside of the expression control section and that's where slider control is. So let me drag it onto the null object. As soon as I do that, the effect controls panel springs to life. And you can see if I open this up just in here, there is indeed a slider just inside of here. So the slider has a default value of zero to 100 which is perfect because we can now use that to control the opacity of the objects parented to our null object. So let's hook this up. So let's make ourselves a little bit more room just here. So spaceship three, shift click in spaceship one, and then pressing the T key to bring up the opacity values for all of the spaceships just here. Now notice when I start clicking around down here, guys, the effect that was up here on the null object a moment ago has disappeared. So the easiest way to hook this up may be to open up the effect here within the timeline itself. So here's null one, there's effects, open up slider control, and there's the slider just there. So what I'm going to do in just a moment is find the opacity values for each spaceship and connect them to this slider just here. So let's do that just now. So spaceship three, here's the opacity, and there is that little pick whip icon that we saw earlier. Now this is controlling the opacity. So I'm gonna drag it to the slider on the null object. And fantastic, this has turned red, 
which shows that we have an active link in place. And also notice the ship just out here disappeared. We'll explore that in just a moment. Let's hook the other ships up. So Spaceship 2, Opacity, grab its pick whip, drag it to the slider. And let's do the same for Spaceship 1. Fantastic. Okay, guys, so the spaceships have all disappeared out here. And if you're wondering why, well, let's click on the null object just here. There's the slider control slider is currently set to zero. So if I start to drag this up, you can see the opacity of the ships starts to increase. You can see they were reading as zero a moment ago. They're now at 40%. Let's bring this all the way up to 100. And fantastic. The ships are now completely visible. So we can now, guys, control the visibility of these ships via this slider, which is an effect on this null object just here. So let's um, actually hook up that opacity for the null object to control the ships just now. So back here, player heads at zero. Now, remember guys, the opacity of the null is not gonna help us out. We need to be going after slider control just here. So what I'm going to do is, if my player head at zero, the little stopwatch next to the slider, I'm gonna activate that. And let's make sure the opacity is at 100, or rather the slider is at 100, which it currently is. Let's move over to that uh, roughly one and a half second mark. And then the slider, we're going to now bring that down to zero. Okay, I think we should have this now complete and check it out. So I'll bring this back to zero and tap my spacebar to play. Fantastic. So guys, our null object, its position, scale, and rotation are controlling the equivalent values on the ship. And then via the effect, the slider control that we have on that null object, we are able to control the opacity of the objects that we have parented to that null object. Whew, I hope that made sense there, guys. So that's the trick, how you can use a null object to control the opacity of elements that are parented to it. I hope that helps. Catch you later.